Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on my indoor plants. Some of them are doing pretty well, but some of them are having winter blues, I guess, because they are looking a little sad and a little droopy. Maybe because of the colder temperature. Nowadays, the temperature is a little down, so some of my plants are having difficulties in coping up with the winter. I'm just hoping that after these colder days, they will all go back to their normal self again. So I'm going to show you around and let's check what's happening with my plants. So before anything else, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here again. And if you are new to this channel and if you still haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you will be updated every time I'm having a new video. You can also like, share, and leave your comments in the comments section down below. And if you want to reach me, you can reach me through my social media accounts. I will be flashing it on my screen. Ayan. And so guys, now without any further ado, let's proceed to our video. Starting with my Alocasia Amazonica, she's now having three gorgeous leaves. If you've seen my Alocasia video, she lost all her leaves due to repatting shock, but look at her now. Next is the Alocasia Cupria. I think she is not doing pretty well. I really don't know what's happening. All her leaves are bowing down. I'm just hoping soon she will be in her normal self again. But look guys, she is having another new leaf. So I think this is a good sign. And then my pink dragon or the pink princess alocasia, she lost two of her leaves during the past weeks but another one is on the way which makes me really happy my pink aglonema still gorgeous in her pink foliage And then my beautiful ZZ plant, a little slow grower. She haven't given me any new growth but it's okay as long as she's healthy. And then my gorgeous lipstick Aglonema in her vibrant red. Beautiful as ever Hoya Australis Lisa. And then the Boros tail still hanging on. And these are my sand loving plants. They got the best spot so they can get the maximum sunlight they required. And then the philodendron birkin, she's having some brown spots on her leaves, but I guess she's just fine. The fiddle leaf looking happy in her new spot. 
the super white aglanema also doing fine now let's check my monstera peru she is not doing really well having lots of brown spots i already checked from her soil for pests also change her pad but still the same I guess she's still having some winter blues I'm just hoping so and then my prayer plant the Thinante Barley Marxii in the Calathea Dati but this guy is not doing good at all this is a desert rose and I don't know if this is due to winter or she really needed to be outside so she can get more sunlight that's why I placed her nearest to the window so she can get the maximum sunlight that she needed but I don't know if this is enough My philodendron micans still holding on. Her leaves are turning yellow day by day and this is what's left. I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful she was. There she is but now look at her. I really don't know what's happening with this micans. Same with the Brazil. She looks sad but still beautiful. My Dracaena marginata looking so healthy now after the mealybugs infestation few months ago. If you're having the same problem, I'll put the link on the description box below on how to get rid of mealybugs. The Eureka palm with some brownings in the edges but I think she's doing pretty well. And this is my Calathea medallion. Recently, she got infected with a lot of trips and lost all her leaves. These are all new leaves and I'm really happy that she survived and now bouncing back to its normal self. This is a propagation of my Silvery Anne. My Neon Pothos, a little slow grower. Let me show you guys how beautiful her neon color. And this is my money tree, so healthy and lush. The Mangela Pothos, also a survivor from Millie Bags. And these are another pothos propagation. These are golden pothos. This is another Dracaena with her beautiful dark green color. And my struggling Monstera Adansonia. I had to cut most of her leaves because I think it's some fungal infection but now she's showing some new growth look at this guys and this is the most affected one my evergreen lemon cypress I really tried my best to bring her back but she continued turning brown until all her leaves are just dried up I'm still keeping her though, she's still beautiful even in her dried state. And then my Shiflera, she's also shedding some of her leaves. 
Look at this guys, only two left. They are having usually six leaves in one stem. But aside from this, mostly they are still okay. And then my marble queen doing pretty well. And my Sandapsa Silvery end hanging perfectly as well. So that's it for today guys and I hope that you like our video for today. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!